Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a video that I actually have in my cell phone repair course. I'm actually gonna be removing this out of my cell phone repair course because the topic is not relevant in today's world of how you refurbish Samsung screens. So back then, a couple of years ago, I would refurbish Samsung screens using a freezer. Some of you guys that are familiar with my channel have seen a bunch of those videos. I am in the process of updating my course. So I'm adding new videos and I'm going back and I'm deleting old videos that are not relevant anymore. So what I'm gonna show you guys is a specific technique that I would use to separate glass away from the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. And I actually used to get a lot of hate comments in some of my particular YouTube videos that they would talk about like I'm just BSing or I'm lying or you cannot separate the, the, the freezer doesn't work with the S9. Well, here's the video that shows proof. I left this technique as value for my cell phone repair course. So once again, I don't use the freezer anymore and I don't think anybody else uses the freezer method anymore. They now have heat machines where you can stick the screen into this machine and you get it off with the wire. That's how you separate glass now from Samsung phones. You can do that technique from S10s, S20s, S21s, S22s. And then you also go from having to buy a $2,500 freezer. Now you can just buy this heat machine for like a couple hundred dollars and you can start refurbishing if you want to do that. If you want to take the time and do that, I actually stopped doing that. I just send my screens off to a refurbishing company now. So for any of those guys out there that used to hate on my videos talking about this and that or you're lying or this, and that, here you go. Yes, you can. The thing is that you just didn't know how. So this course video was about 23 minutes long, but I edited it down to about 10 minutes. I took out all the spaces and the pauses so I can just get straight to the point. So here we go. All right, everyone. This is probably uh, one important video. Glass only repair on a Galaxy S9. A lot of people or a lot of businesses actually don't know how to do this. Even though that they currently are using the freezer, they just don't know how to do glass only repair with this. It's a, it's basically, it's all in the technique. So I'm going to show you guys how, uh, I do this. So as you guys see galaxy S nine, let's take this apart. Oh, and I do use the 145 freezer. I think it doesn't matter which freezer you use. The actual 185 freezer is probably better. Um, but yeah, okay, let's get to this. Okay. So the whole like thing about why people like say you can't use the freezer is when I first, when I first, the very first time I did my, I attempted to do an S9, is the same thing happening with everybody else. Uh, when you use the freezer, the screen will come out and then the sides will curve and then it'll like mess up the display screen. The LCD will puncture or something like that, right? Um, so what I'm going to show you is the way you keep it in the frame. The re this is what I use to keep it in the frame. The whole, okay, so just, just picture this. So whenever you do the older models, the S7 Edge, the S8, the S8 Plus, you know, those phones, you notice the display stays in the phone. It doesn't come out. So also another thing what people are saying is that they think like the the display splits off the back, which the thing is that this display is so thin. It's like paper thin. It's like, it's like as thin as like a business card. That's how thin it is. What you're really seeing is that the freezer is making the, the adhesive that's on the back cover. Okay. I'll just grab one for you. This is a new display for a, for a S nine. What a lot of people are seeing is, you see this like sticky thing on the back? You know how it's sticky, right? So basically when you use the freezer, a lot of the times too, this sticky thing 
ends up like not being sticky. Hold on, someone's coming in. Okay, so I just had a customer that came in here. Um, let me explain this again because I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so a lot of the time, you'll what you'll see is this back sticky thing will peel off. And then the screen like kind of falls out of the phone and then the screen like starts to curve. So the whole idea of this whole thing is to oh, is to keep it in the frame. So it keeps the same form as the frame and it never comes out. So how how do you do that? It's simple. You use tape. You tape the screen in so it doesn't come out of the phone. You tape the screen in so that you let the freezer do its job. Sometimes the whole thing will separate, sometimes it doesn't. You just have to be more experienced with this one. So, use scotch tape. And then, also as well, when I first started using the tape method, I would just tape the whole thing. Don't tape the whole thing. You want to at least have this part and this part separate. So, We'll just go like this. You see how it's taped, right? Kind of two pieces right there, one there, and then kind of like one like that. So this is what's gonna hold the screen into the frame. Let's put this in the freezer. And you see, I have the 145 freezer. Just leave it in there. Okay, so I hit the timer on this. And so some this can take anywhere from 10 minutes in the freezer to 15 minutes in the freezer. Okay, so we're kind of at the six and a half minute mark and I kind of forgot. So there you go. The whole thing is pretty much separated. The entire thing, okay, so. What the hell? Usually it's not that easy, but let me get this glass off. I'm going to grab this thing and then just, and we'll take this tape off. Actually, we're going to use, I might have to put this back in the freezer because I forgot to grab this. So I'm going to put this back in the freezer because I kind of, well, as you guys see, it's the glass is already separated. Put this back in the freezer for a little bit. So the reason why I put it back in the freezer, of course, because the thing starts to thaw out pretty quickly and I forgot about grabbing this. So, but you guys see the whole picture of how the whole screen stayed into the, uh, the screen stayed into the frame. So I'll leave it in there for, I don't know, maybe like a little bit over a minute and then I'll come back. Okay, so it's about maybe like a little bit over a minute. So I'm going to take it all right, and then I'm going to start taking some of this tape off. This tape is in the way now.
get this tape out. Let's just take all this tape. Okay, you see how it's starting to peel up with the glass? So, just be gentle with it. See, I think this is, this is what people are talking about. Perfect example, here I'll show you guys. So, it's kind of curving right now. And if you look in here, this freaking frame is cold. If you look in here, this thing right here, what you see, the display is not actually split. It's just how I'm saying the tape, the back adhesive is still in the frame. And that's how thin this display is. That's how thin it is. So you're going to want to let this just thaw out on its own. And then so it'll, it'll relax itself and it'll take form or shape of how this display is. So you don't want to push here or because then what you'll do is you'll kink it and then you'll see a big black spot. Boom. We should be in the clear. Let's wait till it boots all the way up. For a lot of people that are out there, this whole thing is going to be worth the course by itself. Pretty much this part right here because I know a lot of people are stuck on this spot. They think the freezer doesn't work with the S9 or the S9 Plus. Okay, so the proximity sensor is not plugged in now, so. All right. There you guys see it. There is no display damage whatsoever. This is the Galaxy S9. Once this gets reglued, everything will touch perfectly. But as you guys see, the thing touches anyways. But let's put this in the cleaning mold and get this last piece off right here with the wire.